Hello everyone and welcome to Cineful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video, we have a Black Library review for you, and today we're checking out the Age of Sigma story of Bad Loon Rising, a Zogra and Scrog novel by Andy Clark. Now, as always, I do like to listen to the audio versions of these books while I'm hobbying, or while I'm doing some editing on the YouTube channel, or while I'm just doing some work around the house. This one is narrated by Harry Myers, who does a fantastic job at bringing a variety of different Gloomspike characters together. I have um, just so much respect for how he makes all these voices so different, so interesting, um, so characterful. A really well done performance by Harry Myers on this story, bringing together and bringing to life the words of Andy Clark. With that said, let's talk about the story, though, what we are going to be talking about in this video. And so, born the weakest runt of his Moon Clan tribe, Zograt was only ever one beating away from a terribly nasty end. Until, that is, the Bad Moon bestowed its blessing upon him. Now the clammy hand of destiny is upon him, and the backstabbing grots scurry to his cause, afraid of the vengeance their new boss will inflict with his powerful spells. For every underling he suffocates with noxious fungi, Zograt stages a magnanimous gesture, for he is all too aware of his fragile grip on power. Yet in his heart boils an obsession to become the most formidable, most respected, most fearsome loon boss there ever was. Where better to proclaim his newfound majesty, though, than the gloom-shrouded mountain of Muttering Peak? To lay claim to his throne and his prize, Zograt must first evade a sinister coven of wizards that wishes to harness the mountain's power for their own dark designs, but with his razor-sharp mind, unpredictable magic, and the loyal Trogoth Skrog at his side, Zograt's ambitions may not be quite so daft after all. And so, this story's purpose, this really is introducing a new character to us, that is Zograt. Um, now, it also obviously introduces his faithful companion, Scrog the Trogoth, and together they make for this really terrible duo of master and protector, um, and it's really, really fun. Unlike maybe other stories, like I'm thinking Gloomspire and probably even Gitslayer as well, this book is first and foremost centred around the Gloomspire Git's point of view and follows our main character, Zograt and Scrog, around. Now, it's probably more like how you would read from Gitslayer. You definitely do get a lot of Grot point of view. You obviously have the enemy's point of view as well, which in this case are the Umis. Um, but, you know, it is 100% about... Zograt and Scrog. If you want that story that is, for, you know, first and foremost a grot, a gloom spite story, then this is what you're going to get with this. It is going to be them front and center. This story really is all about Zograt's rise to power, uh, talking about, you know, how he actually becomes a loon boss or rather in charge of a particular uh, clan or clans, uh, as you'll find out through the story. But it does feel like we are just getting started, and this is just the beginning for Zograt, which I am super excited for. And so, our main characters, let's talk about Zograt. Zograt is, you know, he is a weedy little runt of a Gloomspire. Uh, he's a little bit crippled uh, in that his legs are mangled from constant beatings by other grots he's picked on. He's, you know, that grot that gets beaten up by every grot. Um... There's very much, I think, in this sort of story, the whole little nerd or geek at school that got picked on and finally gets the power to get back at his bullies. There's very much, you know, that sort of theme and that sort of feeling to the whole story. Um, and you really do root for the little grot. Like, it's really hard not to. I think um, he's, you know, while maybe a little bit... Um, uh, evil is probably a good word to describe him, or, you know, malicious or vindictive. Vindictive is definitely a little part of his character. Um, within the story, it's really easy to sort of root for Zogra and to want him to succeed, especially when it comes to him feeling about Scrog. Now, what changes, though, about those main characters over the course of the story definitely is the relationship of Zogra and Scrog. Very much at the start, it's a protector sort of role. Um, you know, it's this Trogoth that's sort of just walking around with him, but... Scrog really does seem to care about Zograt, which is really cool. Um, and throughout the story, you know, you're seeing that sort of feeling reciprocated by Zograt. Well, they are, you know, essentially best buddies. 
Um, and it's really quite sweet and endearing, like how they sort of think about each other and how this creature that, you know, really doesn't, Grots don't have friends per se. You know, they have mates, but they'll backstab their mate if it helps them. But Zograt and Scrog really do sort of care for one another, which is a really interesting dynamic to have throughout the story. Um, but obviously, throughout this story, where Zograt is learning, you know, how to become a boss, how to be a boss as well. Um, and this is definitely what sort of grows over the story. He has people that sort of work for him. He has his plans. Some fail, some succeed. Um, and he learns to sort of deal with his failures and overcome them and overcome his own personal limitations by using the sort of power that he's generated around him. And so what does this book do? Well, I think, you know, there is one thing I think it does better than any, and it's, I already talked about it slightly. It really makes you root for Zograt. Like, I can't get over enough how well done this is to really make you just fall in love with this little grot. Um, to really want him to succeed, to really want him to, you know, come out on top. It's not so often when you've got stories like this, where you've got characters that maybe aren't entirely good, but, and you know, characters that aren't even human, that feel relatable. Um, you know, I think there's going to be, in this book, a bit of things that appeals to a lot of Warhammer fans who were maybe nerds or geeks at school, maybe picked on, um, and getting that power to overcome your bullies. Um, it's great. I really, really like how well it sucks you in on that character, makes you feel for him, makes you want to see him succeed. It does it so, so well. And so, who would like the book? I think this is pretty simple. If you like Gloom Spike Gits, this is one for you. But also, I feel like this is another one of those characters throughout the stories. I've talked about this before, um, where I very much felt like, you know, characters like Drakey Flint have that Go Trek sort of feeling about it, where you want to read about them. And Zograt is very much more, I think, in more in line with someone like Thanquil. When you read the Thanquil trilogy, you know Thanquil's not that great a person. You know he's not that, you know, nice. And he's, you know, you shouldn't feel what you feel for Thanquil reading through his trilogy. But you really want to see Thanquil succeed. Um, and Zograt, I feel a lot like that. You really want to see Thanquil succeed. Um, and you really want to see Zograt succeed. So... I get that, you know, if you like those sort of stories about these major players that are interesting, that are fun, you know, if you've enjoyed Drecky Flint's uh, Arknot, if you've enjoyed Gotrek, if you've enjoyed Thanquil, Zograt sort of fits right in there with those sort of characters. He is a really nice, well-rounded character you can relate to, who has, you know, a good mix of humour, cunning, fightiness, and is just really interesting as a character. I think a lot of people will enjoy this novel. And so, in summary, for me... I think this is an early front runner for book of the year. I think this tops what I've listened to and read so far. And I've read some really fun and interesting stories so far. Um, or listened to, I should say. Um, but I don't think there's much else to say that I haven't already said in the video. I really enjoyed Zogra as a character. I enjoyed that the book sucks you into him. Um, and yeah, this you know is a really fun, enjoyable story. I think a lot of people will enjoy this. Um, I think a lot of people get a lot out of it. Um, if you have read uh, Zograt and Scrog's novel Bad Loon Rising, let us know your thoughts about it down in the comments below. Love to hear from everyone else, but I absolutely loved it. Well, that's the end of the video. We hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also drop a comment down below letting us know what you enjoyed about the video. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our little community here at Sinful Gaming, we have a Discord server which is linked down in the video's description. Also linked down in the video's description are the best ways to help support the channel with either by Patreon, YouTube members, or by grabbing yourself some merch from either our Kofi or Teespring stores. All of those things are linked down in the video's description. As a special thank you to everyone who does support us via Patreon and YouTube members, we'd like to give you all a shout out. So thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, Soren, Kenny Lowe, Out on Shot First, Andrew Bowen, The Rising Eight, Q Dynamic, Anthony B, JJ Austrian, Average War Gamer, Domia, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Benjamin Swallows, Red Martin, Iron Grinch, Nicholas Colomos, Colorblind Magic, Daniel Everington, and Andy C. And to our YouTube members, Green Roots Gaming, Ronya, Lock Lorick, The Johnny84, David Ellsworth, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Revenar, Pink Nico Fire, Robin Mankiller, Monty Stable, Top Terrain, John Castle, Davis Weir, James South, James Tillman, Dylan Marino, Gargamel, 196, and Disco. Thank you all so much for your support. And if 
special shout out to Lady Witchbox Art who does all the amazing artwork for the channel and to everyone who helps run the channel uh, whether that be on the Discord server as our mods on our live stream mods or the guys that come around and help provide the battle reports for you all to watch. Thank you all once again everyone. Stay safe, stay well and most of all keep fighting that war against the grey. Ciao for now.